Hi there, Steve Latham, World Vision International and the Latin American Caribbean Regional Office in Panama. As we look towards a post-yoga frame, uh, we're advocating for a child-focused, resilient development practice consisting of four key elements, disaster risk reduction, social risk reduction, climate change adaptation, and sustainable livelihoods. Clearly, we need to build off of the existing five HFA priorities and cross-cutting issues rather than starting from scratch. However, HFA should morph into something that goes beyond technological and natural hazards to embrace a multi or all hazards approach, addressing natural, social natural, and social hazards. Furthermore, as part of HFA priority four, the frame should consider eight key risk drivers or dimensions of resilience that can be associated with assets-based development, whether it's human cultural, environmental health, social political, economic and financial, agricultural food security, scientific, technological, physical, structural, or spiritual and psychological. Uh, capacity development efforts based on HFA should indeed be child-focused, targeting each of the key age groups, i.e. first infancy, girls and boys, adolescents, youth, and finally adults at the local and national level. Furthermore, we believe that there is a humanitarian imperative to use evidence-based approaches and associated indicators so that we can measure our impact and ensure accountability to communities and nations that we serve. Finally, we call for a shift that moves us from a fragment and a piecemeal programmatic approach towards an integrated, holistic, and systematic approach that is child-focused to reduce risk and increase resilience across the rural urban continuum. Children and youth have a critically important role to play as agents of change and social transformation to mainstream and scale up really resilient development practice. They have rights to participate as protagonists in their own development processes and a need to be protected before, during, and after disasters. Let's provide them with an enabling environment to transform this vision into action. Thank you.